Hello, yes. Uh, so this is going to be the first of God knows how many videos of the stuff that I got in the 300-ish pound dog lot. So I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of stuff. As ever, I'm just going to like spread things out and divide things into boxes and, oh look, that looks like a bit of silver, I wonder if that's amber in there, possibly, there we go, no silver earring straight away, yay, good show, yeah, divide things into lots, try and find pairs of earrings and stuff, and if not, they go into a solo earrings job lot. That's quite cool, isn't it? Brass, like, wrap thing. And decide what I'm going to put into job lots or sell single bits. What's going to go into, like, a beachy lot. Like these bits of turquoise colour things. Like these ones. They'll go into a beachy lot with this. Oh, that's a fab one. Look at the clasp on that. That's cool. This bit attached. Bit attached. That's quite nice, isn't it? Wooden. It's got a touch of the girdle lingard about it as well. But yeah, they'll go into a job lot. Right, I'll put silver bits and hopefully gold, you never know, down there. Solo earrings. That's quite a nice one, little elephant. Ah, oh, cool. A broken um, butterfly, but that'll go to my sister's job lot of butterflies. I don't know what she's collecting them for. She's doing some craft project. Who knows? It's quite cute little heart. Going in two kilos. Little purple sparkler. That looks like quite a nice stone unusual don't know what it would be so yeah you are we a bit far are we a bit far where's my where's my edge there i need to put a pen there that's my edge okay Getting two kilos oh, that looks like would be a little set of stuff so hopefully we can find the other earring at some point to go with that necklace but meanwhile that earring goes over there and there's a little pink over there Bangor. maybe some like carved bone or something oh it's a cute little starfish i think of uh, a star i think i've sold that one before it's not gold it might be gold plated um made in china it's cute though isn't it i might sell that one <clears throat> it's got quite a cool hook on it that's probably silver plated like almost balinese style a bit chunky it's quite nice actually i don't mind that i might keep that aside might sell it I might end up shoving it in a job lot. Oh, there's another one. It's got a matching necklace. Okay. Well, that's cool. Seeing as it's a set, yeah, I probably will try and sell them off together. Here we go. Got a cute elephant necklace. Oh, is it new with tags? It is from New Look, originally $5.99. There we go. Ah, that's a pair, isn't it? There we go. Little pair of beady earrings. Some faux pearls for the faux pearly lot. Oh, that's quite the statement bit. Have you got all your bits? I've oh, got this stuff attached. Hmm. Looks to have all its stones, so I'll put that into the beachy lot. That's quite cool. 
Got no joint effects on me. Mm -mm -mm. Yum yum. A bangle signed Mung. Mung. I think that's a um, Chinese brand. <clears throat> it's going in there. Heart shaped earring. It's going to be lots of odd earrings. I can tell that already. Um, these plastic ones, if they want to come out, which they don't at the moment, so I'm just going to leave it for now. But they'll probably go into a kiddies lot. Ooh, a rather lovely rhinestone necklace. Some of the stones are a little bit yellowed, not quite dead, just a little bit yellowed. So that'll probably end up in a vintage lot. Quite nice though, quite pretty. Some plasticky beads to go in a kid's lot. What are you? I feel like a nice metal. I wonder if that, I don't know, that would have had like a tag on it or something. Can't quite see what that says. Oh, Les Clears? Les Clears? I'll look that up. You never know. That could just be a little unusual thing. Little friendship bracelet. Um, that's got some cute little pills on it. Quite nice sterling silver clasp. Cute. But I'm going to put that in two kilos, even though it's got a bit of sterling silver on it. And let someone else enjoy that. It's fine. This will go into a beachy lot. Again, that's quite a nice bib one. Good for holidays. Got a broken, oh, very broken butterfly. <clears throat> oh, there's the other earring. Or is it the same earring? Nope. There you go. So there's a, a little set in there. Bit of abalone. Baloney. Uh, ba -ba mini -mini. A wrap around bracelet that's attached to all of these bits. So I'm just going to shove them all in. Some pills on a string that's going to go into a pearly lot. Magnetic bracelet, bit of leather. And this little beady one, friendship bracelet again. Now I've got this necklace, but in sterling silver, so I don't think this is going to be, because you can tell that mine's silver and this isn't. They're all very attached. Oh, it's a little teacup. Right. Do you want to come apart? It's attached to this, which has got little butterflies and keys. Oh, it is all one necklace. Oh, that's quite sweet. Again, going in there. Oh, a little Paris keyring for a keyring's lot. It's a nice earring, unusual. Oh, is that a fine chain? I don't think it's, it might be silver. Yeah, it's silver. Let's get the scissors out. I'm going to cough in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. get a dry throat from doing this. Wow, that's an earring. Look at that. Crazy. Oh, if you can hear next door's kid having a paddy. It's broken. <coughs> I wonder if a sweetie would help. Sorry about that, guys. Mm -mm -mm. This is why I'm truly tangled in here. Mm -hmm. 
Newer tags, accessorised earrings, originally tenner. They go into a little earrings lock. Two kilos. It sort of matched the bracelet that just went in, didn't it? What are you attached to and why? Oh, another one of them stars. Oh dear, sorry. Who did this say? Something, something, Mary? I don't know. But it's cute with a little teacup. Yeah, that sells that pet separate. more of that broken butterfly stuff. I don't think my sister... Ah. This is what I grabbed in the video when I showed this all off first of all. And I was like, I bet that's the thing. And then I couldn't find it again. <laughs> now I found it. I think I've just seen a mark on the clasp. Where's my loop? Because I want to check that out. It's got a nice spring ring on it, a really nice big one. Oh look, it's a spinner. Let's see what that mark says on there. Where did I put it now? There it is. Oh wow. And it says 14K. 14 karat gold. I will check obviously all elements to it because it might just be the chain it might not be this as well although the bale it looks pretty good can't see any marks on the bale though hmm. that is lovely isn't it wow <laughs> okay so potentially it's quite weighty as well quite weighty Potentially a nice bit of gold there. Well, hey, yay! <laughs> uh, see, there you go. I feel a bit more about it all now. <clears throat> right. Let's get in here. What's this? Are you going to be silver? Oliver Bonas. That's a good start. Oliver is bonus. <laughs> right. There's a bunch of little earrings in there. I think I can see like a little claspy thing. Right, okay, they were all attached together, right. Let's move these aside a second so we can see properly. So we've got an earring where things are causing problems. Come on now. So little pearls, that's on a bit of silver, so I'll keep that aside. Are you marked? Oh yeah, I can see something on the post. 925. <coughs> and then on here. 925 as well so we've got a tiny little pair of studs take a drink okay now in here that looks like silver maybe it's a few
few earrings attached together. I mean, a few necklaces. So the ball one, this one is the Oliver Bonas. Yep, 925. All of the bonus stuff, uh, 925 always sells quite well. So that's good. Bit of silver. And then it looks like we've got two more necklaces in here, actually, at least. Yeah, two. One of them is very white. As opposed to grey. Not quite the tangle. Right, if I undo you. Come on now. Come on, play nice. Come on. Ugh. It looks like it's got some pretty stones in them, whatever it is. Come on. Oh, it's a proper bloody tangle. <coughs> right, I reckon they are silver. Um, what's it say on this? See, this is the whiter one. Oh my God. Uh, that is actually 750, so that's actually 18 karat gold. Bloody hell. So I kind of already paid for the job lot. Possibly. I mean, okay, maybe not. I, I exaggerate a bit. Depending on how much it weighs, you know, obviously. But bloody hell. <laughs> and when it's got this in it, whether that's white gold is a different story. Oh, I am chuffed with this lot already, you know? Bloody, bloody hell. Sorry for all the coughing and sniffling, by the way. It's cold outside. And I have this thing of like, you know, when you come in from the cold into the heat and your chest kind of goes. Wait, what are you saying? I think that says 925. <laughs> So I'm taking that off there. So that is a white gold chain. This, what do we reckon guys? You can see it says Italy on it. And it also says nine carat. <laughs> and what do you say? nine carat as well so we've got a nice nine carat gold necklace so we have got three bits of gold so far one of which is 18 114 and one nine and then this sterling silver pendant which has probably got lots of nice stones in it so wow i'll just finish there in it jeez Before anyone asks and goes like, where did you get this from? Because, you know, obviously, you want the same kind of luck, don't you? Of course you do. That's understandable. However, as you can also appreciate, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> it's just a job lot of eBay. Like, that's the God's honest truth. I just search. Oh, that's broken. That's a shame because those bits are quite unusual. I just search for job lots and I see what turns up. I like buying in huge quantities, as you know, and then I kind of hope for the best. I was hoping that might be silver, but I don't think it is. <clears throat> is that building broken? Can we free this one yet? No, not quite yet. Okay. Oh, don't lose my loop. A tendency of doing that. Here's the green bead going in there. Got a little sparkler with these beads attached, or are they eat that? Ah, that's an earring that's smuggled its way in. Got a nice little sparkly bib one. And then we've got these like evil eye ones, ward off evil, that'll go in the beachy lot. 
It's an earring, crazy one, quite long. Oh, and there's its pair. There we go. Lovely. Shambhala bead bracelet. And then a little friendship one going in there. This has got quite, some quite nice beads on it. Look at that kind of texture on there. It's unusual. Oh, it's right. Um, let's unattach a few things. Anyway, those two, that's like heavy ceramic by the feel of it. <clears throat> and this is cute little glass beaded pendant. Has this got another end? Yeah, this will probably go into the vintage lot though. You know, what are they for? Like gloves to hang, you know, pin them to yourself? I'm not sure actually. Or like a cape clip thing, cardigan clip. But yeah, that'll go into vintage lot. And then two sets of plastic beads. Go into the kiddies dress up and then this glass one into two kilos. Oh my gosh. Some more Maybe ready. What on earth? That's weird feeling like mesh so stretchy magnetic that's an odd one that's going in there got kind of a cool mixed metal bangle another one of those friendship bracelets oh no it's fully in there we'll let that go a minute here you from accessorize i'll put that in the beachy lot that's quite a cool one as well for that lot some more plasticky beads, a kid's dresser. Are you gonna be silver? I don't think so. Cute though, with a little star. <clears throat> little stretcher. Oh, that looks like a little silver earring. That's quite cute with the little twists. They do odd silver earrings lots as well, and they always sell. Oh, a little vintage hair thing. What's it say on there? It looks like it's got something written in there. Like, scratched in. I don't know if you can see. I haven't quite got the light right. Mm, just like C slash E slash. It's cool. It's old. Nice, like, swivel, but it's a shame it's broken. Never mind. Um, just a ring. There's no marks on it or anything. I don't believe it's a metal that's going to be plastic in there, so that'll go into a ring slot. Gold! <laughs> Bone me. <clears throat> oh, it's cute, though, with the palm tree. Oh, I like that. That's fun. That's definitely something I'll sell because that's hilarious. No maker on it, but it doesn't matter because just the fact that it's a palm tree on a gold colored chain will sell it because that's a lot of fun. There's a lot of earrings tangled in here. Come into the odd pile. It's pretty, isn't it? Got what look like little arrowheads. Kind of fun. That's going in two kilos though. No coral coloured earring. Oh, it's got little hearts on it from next. This looks like it's got some really nice beads on it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Is that a sterling silver clasp? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> the hooks on earrings. you yeah, right, booger. Right, booger. Right, I reckon this is a, all this grey and pink here is one necklace. And that's all attached. Is that all one necklace? 
two. I'm not going to detangle that bugger. Someone else can have fun with that. And then I think, is that the same? No. Right. Random earring in there. That is two necklaces. It's like gunmetal kind of colour. And then this one. And then we got a random earring, a random bead. Oh, stop hissing at each other, cats. And oh, nice wooden bangle for the beachy lot. Broken. How are we for time? Oh, we'll do a little bit more. Go on then. Let's grab another handful. Because why not? Black plastic faceted bangle. That'll go into the beachy lot. Quite nice blue with the seed beads. Beach, yeah, why not? Ooh, right, I've had this necklace a couple of times. It's, um, here you go, 25th anniversary, 1977. That'll go into a vintage lot. Ooh, that looks like Thai silver, maybe? Like Siam silver? Quite possibly. Why is there a safety pin? Like, it's a bit more tinny than silver, so it might be a lower grade silver, but that's quite cool. And it says Guatemala. Hey, yeah. Don't think it's silver, like 925 silver, but it might be a lower grade. But that's quite interesting. I'll put that aside to test. That is cool. Like, what? Why? why? I don't get it. Not quite sure where that is. It's going to go in broken. Got a little collar necklace. Get these in craft shops and things quite a lot. It's quite cute though. <clears throat> yes, that's a bit of a monster, isn't it? Neon yellow. I put the shell bits into craft a lot for someone to, to you know, craft with. If I can get that off. Make it like macrame a pot holder, perhaps. I mean, they probably already originally were pot holders, and then someone made necklaces, and now someone can make them back. It's <laughs> quite a few. Little plastic stretchy. Another stretchy, but it's a bit meh. An earring, which is not silver, and silver. Watch out for little bangles like this. Some of them, I found one that was silver. This one isn't, but it's got cute little charms on it. That's cool. Wonder if it's, it is a vintage. Quite like that. Shame it's got like some of its gold tone missing. I'll put that into a vintage lot. That's quite a smart one, isn't it? Um, let's put that in there. Oh, that's very broken brooch, isn't it? I'll put that in craft. <clears throat> More odd earrings. Another broken brooch. I put that in the broken brooches lot though. That one was really broken, but this one, like, just needs a pin at the back, and it's okay. So I'll put that in broken brooches. Earring. Cute. Ooh. Little pair of silver earrings. They're a bit bent out of shape, but I can bend them back into shape. That's quite nice. Excellent. And then we've got, yes, a matching pair of the pearlies. Cool. And that one goes in there. That's a rather fabulous one, isn't it? So go in there. I think how close are we to getting the first bag to a two kilo lot? Do do do. And stand up. 
Ooh, it needs one more thing. Let's pull a couple of bits out. So we can now I'll put in these earrings. Nearly there. That's quite nice, isn't it? Beaded. And that, but it's looks it's broken. So I'll put that in. That takes it to two kilos. And there we go. So that's video number one done, part one. So we've done pretty freaking excellent so far because we have got this potentially 14 carat. <clears throat> this was that, that was nine carat, wasn't it? 18 carat. So nine, 14, 18. A few little bits of silver, and then we're just going to test this bit to see if it is silver. To do so we shall do the pendant and the chain well, the chain isn't it's slightly pink but it looks like the pendant might be and indeed comes up a bright lovely red so I will Probably separate that from that. And sell that as is. So there we go. Half a sound. Oh no, wait. Should we test that to see if it's also gold? I mean, I'm presuming that it probably is seen as it's at on a 14 carat. Thing. God, doesn't even budge. Yeah, I'm presuming that that is also 14 carat of gold as well. So, sweet vines from our first dig around. I hope you've enjoyed. If there's been anything here you fancy for yourself, um, please do message me and let me know. My email address is in the description box underneath this video. Um, yeah. Cheers for that. Until next time, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.